Hey, wanted to answer a question that came up in a workshop. It was with like 800 undergrad students. They asked a great question. Uh, what two or three questions should we be asking? Let me get this right of ourselves when we see some sort of data graph visualization to ascertain its reliability and quality. What a good question. Okay. So, um, you know, you got to have your bullshit detector on. That's number one. Uh, so your bullshit detector is going to help you ask questions like, is the source of this data reliable and credible? Can I trust this source? Um, you're going to want to be looking for source or note information at the bottom of the visual that tells you where the data came from. And you're going to use what you know and what the internet can tell you about whether that is a reliable resource. Um, the second thing that you want to ask yourself is what is this graph leaving out? Like, what is, is this the full story? What is not being visualized here? Don't just take it at face value. For example, uh, just this past week, we got some new jobs numbers out that said we experienced um, losses in the last quarter, not a surprise, and that the losses all came from women, only women. Well, when you break down that data a little bit more, it turns out that the job losses actually came from women of color, that white women actually had increases in their jobs in this quarter. So we're really looking for the full story. Is this telling me the full story? Then the third thing that you should be asking yourself is, does this graph even look right? We've seen plenty of examples where a credible news organization told what they thought was a full story, but used such a bad visual that it um, was incredibly misleading. And I'm going to link you in um, my story to an example of that that I posted on my blog. So those three questions, is this source credible? Is it telling a full story? And does this graph even look right? Those are the questions you should be asking.